When it comes to travel tripods, there are a heap to choose from on the market. But today what I'm gonna do is have a look at three popular versions to work out which one is best for you. When traveling, the last thing you want is to be weighed down by a ton of gear. The weight adds up quickly. Clothes, toiletries, bags, cameras, batteries, filters, accessories, and then you have to add a tripod. I own all three of these tripods, so this video actually isn't sponsored in any way. But today what I wanna to do is show you the way I like to use each individual tripod because each one really serves a different purpose. But that way you can gauge which one will suit your type of photography? I love this little tripod and use it often when I'm vlogging. I combine it with the GoPro Hero 7, sometimes adding a top light to do all my bits to camera and use it for the odd bit of B-roll. Pushing the red button allows the quick release ball head to get those different angles, but unfortunately this model can't reach 90 degrees to get those portrait orientation shots. The slightly larger Pixie Evo model can however. When the legs are closed it converts into a nice handle so you can pan, tilt and walk to your heart's content. It's perfect for mobile phones using a holder and compact cameras as well. Great for low angles and importantly it won't break the bank. Simple, durable and easy to use. This tripod is one of the most popular for YouTubers because of its incredible versatility. Being able to shape and mold the legs allows you to get camera angles other tripods can't. I use this tripod regularly for trips into cities and forests because I can just use ledges, poles, railings or tree branches as a base to set up on. The Joby Gorillapod comes in different load capacities up to 5 kilos. The version I own is the 3 kilograms and can support all my cameras, including my Nikon D750, but that is pushing it to the max. Still relatively compact and lightweight, it can easily travel inside your camera or handbag, and unlike the Manfrotto Pixie Mini, the ball head can drop down to 90 degrees, so you can shoot in portrait orientation. The Manfrotto B Free Travel Tripod has been popular for many years. I took my older model Manfrotto Travel Tripod with me all around the world and it never let me down. Granted there were times I wished I had a larger tripod so I could get greater height, but when you consider the convenience factor of size and weight, this tripod wins out every time. The version I currently own is the aluminium model with lever locks and there's also a carbon fibre model. The big advantage the B Free tripod has over the other two obviously is height. When the centre column is extended, it reaches a working height of 145 centimetres, or just over 56 inches. There is a later model of this tripod now that comes with both the twist locks and lever locks on the legs. But I didn't really see any sort of justification in upgrading to that B Free, because at the end of the day they both do this. But here's the one awesome feature the B-Free has which my larger tripod can't do. Yes, just like Maverick from Top Gun, you can invert the B-Free, getting your camera extremely close to the ground for those super sweet low angle and reflection shots. Like the Joby Gorilla Pod, you can turn the ball head 90 degrees to get portrait orientation and has this very handy rubberized grip on one of the legs so it won't slip in your hand on those wet days. If you're a vlogger, have a mobile phone or a small compact camera, then the Manfrotto Pixie Mini tripod is awesome value. It's enough to help you get those time lapses, steady shots and selfies you want and it practically weighs nothing. Plus you can conveniently have it in your pocket or handbag to quickly whip out whenever you need it. The Joby tripod is the most versatile tripod out of all the three I've shown you today. Not only can it get the most impossible angles, 
It's also large enough to support DSLRs, mirrorless or APS-C cameras. Still very lightweight and compact, this is the perfect all-rounder tripod that's handy to have in all types of situations. The Manfrotto B3 travel tripod has a reputation for quality and importantly it's light and weight. Being able to go on long hikes or camping trips, it folds down to a manageable size and comes with its own convenient travel bag. I've used this little tripod hiking to the tops of mountains in both Iceland and the Scottish Highlands and it performed brilliantly. The fact that it can support even the heaviest of DSLRs is a real bonus. So where does your type of photography fit in that category? Which travel tripod do you think would be best for you? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks so much for watching, never stop creating and I'll see you next time. So where does your type of photography Hey, no, <laughs> have a look at this. <laughs> There's nothing in the bag, mister. <laughs> All right, he'll be right. Stop and start again. He tried to eat the leaf off your bag.